All right, Tate. Uh, let's start with North Carolina, Michigan. Obviously, first of all, <laughs> give us a, uh, a a vibe check where you stand. Uh, I, I feel like you so Ooh. far this season. Again, we, it is we're not even a month into the season. It feels like you have been through an entire roller coaster of emotions. Mm. A lot goes into that. One, your team is has been up and down. Two, yes, you have Hubert where's Davis. The, where's the integrity meter? Yeah, the because integrity I, meter. I have been on both sides, shooting back uh, and forth. You have a new coach, so like there's there's there <laughs> I just wanted to see there's it. the integrity meter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying um, to get to Roy Williams. You uh you have a new coach, so like there's there's not the uh you know, say say a school like Virginia looks at Tony Bennett and how their season's been a little rocky to start, but they're yeah. like, we trust Tony. Yeah, Tony, Tony will figure it Tony out. Tony will figure it He'll out. Get us you, back on the tracks. you don't know if you can trust Hubert, but you want to talk yourself into trusting mm-hmm. Hubert, but you don't know why you're talking yourself into it. So where do you stand right now after you just beat the hell out of Michigan? I feel like we got, you know, basically an extended deadline, right? That, that's how this feels. This feels like there was an exam that was set on a date yeah. and we were all looking around saying, I don't think I'm prepared for this exam. This exam is going to wreck us. And then we went to class and the professor, the basketball God said, we're going to kick this can down the road. You guys got some more time because Michigan yes. is also a mess. And uh, <laughs> Michigan could be the printer in this case. Maybe they couldn't print the test, but the analogy is done in Michigan they came to North Carolina, they came to Chapel Hill, and they were, luckily for North Carolina, a bit of a mess themselves. And it, and it set up for the perfect opportunity for North Carolina to get things settled because Brady Manick, uh, I think we're on the same page. Like if, I, if you wanted to ask me where my mentality is, like wh- where am I as far as buying in, I'm on the same page as Brady Manick. <laughs> Whatever Brady is. Whatever, Whatever Brady is, that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> because Brady, he, he made a great point. He said, I've never played on a team with four McDonald's All-Americans. But we're losing. So I, so he's like, the most I've ever had is one. Yeah. And we were actually winning some games with that one McDonald's All-American. So I don't know the problem here, but we need to fix it. And I think that was a, a telltale sign a little bit with this team. And they finally stepped up in a big moment. But I'm not all the way sold yet, Titus. You know what I mean? Really? Like, even okay. though we, we get a 21-point win, I feel really good about it. We made shots. And when you make shots, <laughs> everything looks so better. So you're, you're saying for you this game was more about Michigan than the North Carolina sounds well, like. Well, it, it was great you're, for Hubert Davis and for North Carolina to have a packed Dean Dome, to be loud, yeah, to yeah. have a great time, to, to get a big win. It was great for momentum. It was great for the program to to keep the haters. Was a program win? This was a, this was a signature a win. win. A signature win for Hubert wow. Davis. Wow. But again, when you look at the other party, that you beat you have to contextualize that a little bit and say what is happening what is this dumpster <laughs> fire happening over here no, because i'm having a great time but also i'm a little concerned i think you just take the uh you, you take the yeah. wins where you can get them and maybe and, that's uh, me being a yeah. an analyst now you know what i mean or like you know we talk about college basketball at large i mean i think if it was me you know, let's say in college, 2012, me, and that game happens. I don't care about Michigan at all. I, you know, who are you tweeting? It's let what, them burn. Uh, who is, who is junior year of college Tate Frazier tweeting at after you watch Carolina mm. get a big, who's the first person that you're saying Dickie like, v suck it. To, no, <laughs> well, Dickie V just cause he was there. I was like, Dickie V tell the people to, uh, who we right, are. That's the first Remind three, the people. That's the first three you're what we're off. up to. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I needed Dickie V to put the push out. Um, and then maybe I would go back at Jay Billis, you know, just just to, I used to tweet at Jay Billis all the time, you know, to, to put some respect on our names. Um, I think that's my yeah. goal in this industry is become the guy that like people, uh, it's, it kind of happens with a handful of people that, that it follow the show. Fans. Yeah, little, I want to, I want to become the guy like when Billis hangs it up because yeah. Billis is probably the guy right now. Right. Uh, but, um, yeah. The guy that like your team wins and you just want to yell at somebody. Mm-hmm. I want to be that guy in college basketball. See, I want the it to NBA be like and Stephen A. Smith. Put like, some damn respect on Bethune Cookman's name. Yes, we yes. won three in a row now. Mm-hmm. Talk about us on the show. Mm-hmm. Talk about Caleb Love. <laughs> okay, all right, that's all I'm saying. Talk all about right, Caleb Love. On. But I, I leave this game. Oh, shout out to Bethune Cookman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull, yeah, that's a good pull. I think of any school and I'd, Hubert Davis, zero for six against the spread. Wins this game by yeah. 21 points. What Needed was the spread for this one? Two and a half. Wow. Michigan. Um, so the fact that he was able to answer the bell and this team was able to kind of get the demons off their back yeah. a little bit. Like I said, Roy Williams was there. He seemed very pleased. Did he go to all the games? Yeah, he's gone to all the he's games. Every, every, he hasn't missed a game yet. We, we kind of want him to miss a couple, don't we? No. You want him at every game. See, what I was scared of, what I, what I was so upset about when he left was that Dean Smith was in the shadows, right? Coach Smith. Yeah. He was there. He was omnipresent. He wasn't. You couldn't see him though. 
Roy is forward face. Roy is there. Roy, there's no shadow. Yeah. No, no, he's like you see me. He in fact he's, he's casting the shadow on you. Yes, yes, he is. He is the shadow, uh, and he's like the bat signal. You know, when everything's going wrong, everyone's looking at Roy, and they're like, "What do we need to do, Coach?" Um, Dude, we need we need a Roy cam at uh, North Carolina games where the, the K it, game. We need the Roy yeah. cam at the K game. But there's like eight minutes left. Carolina's up two in the Dean Dome, and the fans are on edge because you're I don't know you're playing Wofford and you should be up by more, and you're like, should we be winning by more? Yeah, they, and during the, the timeout, game. they just cut to to Roy, and he does the gladiator thing with his thumb, and he just sticks mm-hmm. out the the Chuck Norris and dodgeball. <laughs> yeah, and then he goes boom, and then the place goes crazy. Yes. And they're like, we're good. Thank you, coach. And then he goes thumbs down, and he walks out, and the play, everyone just starts panicking. Yeah. All of a sudden, the other team's playing zone. We don't <laughs> yeah. know what to do. Like Roy, how should we feel? Thumbs up or down? Uh, I'll be honest with you, didn't watch a second of this game. I was at Poly nice. Pavilion uh, watching UCLA Colorado. I. I, I messed up my schedules. I've lived uh, in L.A. for I don't even know how long, two or three years now. And I still get messed up on the time zones when I uh, I, I look looked, at Google. Yeah, when I looked at Google. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the UCLA game. Then after the UCLA game, I'll watch Carolina, Michigan. Because it would be 930 <laughs> yeah, if you were an East yeah. Coast guy. My, I'm pa- I'm my parents Indiana's are like, out here and yeah. they're the same way. I mean, they're like, what time's this game? I'm like, yeah. 630. They're yeah. like, oh, well, well, that's, 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 that's kind of a blessing. I thought I was going to do both. As it turns out, they were playing at the exact same time. And uh, as I tried as hard as I could to get them to throw the Carolina-Michigan game on. It's on okay. Poly Pavilion on the big screen. I think they didn't do it. For the fans at home that believe game. in the Titus curse, I think that they want you to go thing. to every Poly Pavilion yeah. game. They're like, when does UCLA play That's a good point. I, I I think uh, I'm yeah. doing you a favor by not watching Carolina. And look, we both won at the end of the day. Yeah. You defeat Duke, I defeat Michigan. Feels good. Who Feels played? Good. Who played well for who? Uh, sorry, who played well for Carolina? I mean, it was Caleb Love's night. It was Caleb Love's night. I mean, it, that's what's a little. We, we, there were still moments, right? You know, when you watch a basketball game and you see a moment, like I, I compared to the Brooklyn Nets, right? You watch James Harden in the game, and you see James. And James has always been like this, and it's because he's a gifted scorer, but. There are moments in time where you know, like in Houston, Mike D'Antoni called a play, and you see everyone set up for that play, Mm -hmm. and James Harden has made a decision consciously to only look at the basket and to ignore everything (laughs) else, right? And and you see the you see like the rest of the team, they're a little deflated by that 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 outlook. Yeah. Caleb has a little bit of that. Yeah. But luckily last night, like I said, he made shots. Like he made some ridiculous circuit circus shots. He stepped it up defensively a few times. But I still see moments where, you know, maybe you make the extra pass right here, yeah. and 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 then we're really rolling. Yeah, I'm still. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm excited, but I still see some signs of oh no. Yeah, this could be a problem yes. in the future. But I, I'm I'm being I'm trying to be positive. The, the Caleb love Caleb love experience is a roller coaster, but right now you're all, you're when on you, the high when he makes like shots. Just, yeah, you know what I mean. You're like looking around. You're like this guy's a first round pick. Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.